It's finally happening. Oh my gosh. Um, today I'm going to be doing a light act. I can't even talk right now. I've just been, I have been waiting to have a free day to do this makeover. Today I am doing a light academia room makeover. If you haven't checked out my dark academia room makeover, you can check it out here so you can see everything from before to after and then from what it is now to what it's going to be later. And the reason I wanted to do this is because, I mean, if you've seen my videos, you know that I love DA. I love Dark Academia. The thing is, as the year goes on, as we move out of fall and into winter and into spring, I don't want to not have my DA aesthetic around. I kind of, like, I want it, but I want it to be a little more fitting to the seasons. Let me read you off a little definition in case you don't know what this is. And this is straight straight from Google. Light academia is an aesthetic that focuses on the softer and gentle side of dark academia. It still embodies the love of learning, but with an airier, less doomed focus feel that shows that knowledge brings light and happiness and the outdoors rather than gothic darkness seen curled up in a corner. Okay, I don't know who wrote that, but I don't know if that's how I feel about DA. Let me try to find another definition, maybe. Light academia is the emotionally positive and visually lighter relative to dark academia. The style inspiration for both is rooted in literature. However, the differences between their fashion choices boil down to the color palette, beige versus black, and fabrics lightweight versus cozy. Light academia is very much about positivity, self-care, seen through the social aspects involved such as hanging around bakeries, bookshops, libraries, and cafes. It can be seen as similar to the cottage core aesthetic, although it has more of a focus on education. It's about the warm and pleasurable parts of life. And if you want to hear a more in-depth version of the light academia aesthetic, I will post a link below of a video to Fab Saker. I think it's Saker? Sacker? Sacker's YouTube video who describes it perfectly, and she's actually who I watched to get some like inspiration for the decor pieces I should buy. First things first, I cannot put any holes in my walls. I can't paint anything. I can't use tacks, literally nothing. I am renting a house and I cannot do anything to it. So I'm a little limited on the things that I can do, but I'm gonna try my best to make it work. I'm nervous and I'm excited and I'm scared and I just can't, I can't wait. I can't wait to be in a different room tonight and read. <gasps> ah, I'm so excited, I'm so excited, okay. Let's get to it, let's get started. When I first redid my room into a dark academia room, I had the inspiration of a college dorm room. I didn't really want it to feel like I was in someone's house. I wanted it to feel very kind of clean and conservative almost, as if it was a working space for a college student. But for Light Academia, I really could not find a book to kind of reference to give me inspiration for this room. So I am totally just winging it and creating something all of my own. Because I know that apparently it's a mixture between Cottage Core and Dark Academia, I'm not really gonna go full out with the plants. I don't really feel like that fits the academic theme that I envision in my head. So I'm literally going to be switching out everything that I currently have with lighter colors. I'm going to keep this room moody. It's just going to be a little more cozy, airy, and just as academic. Because I wanted to give myself an accent wall and I'm not able to put up wallpaper, I went and thrifted this beautiful vintage floral sheet for $4. It is the biggest sheet ever and it happens to cover my entire wall and match my Light Academia shirt perfectly. So I decided to use the back side of the sheet which was a tad bit lighter than the front side and all I'm going to do to get this to stay on my wall and not damage it is so I'm going to be using my favorite thing ever, alien tape. This has been my lifesaver and I use it all the time. I am cutting off pieces of the alien tape and just sticking it one piece on the front and one on the back. It is guaranteed 
not to fall if you do it this way. So I ran out of bobby pins and was not able to make it completely flush to my wall, but I was not bothered by the draping in the slightest bit. I actually thought it looked really cool. So what I did is I just made sure to steam down the entire sheet to make it not wrinkly and make it look more smooth. One of my favorite pieces in the room is this Greek column I got from Hobby Lobby for $23. I love this column because it's an Ionic Greek column, it's historically accurate, and it's such a great talking piece for when guests come over and see my room. I'm switching out all my furniture with pieces that I got from my thrift store. This side table was $8. I think it's going to go really well with the other side table I got, which is this one right here. I got this for $10. I'll be using it as my desk space, and I got a matching chair as well for 8 bucks. Don't think you need to go out and buy new, especially when it comes to furniture, because vintage furniture has so much character and it's perfect. And if you have the patience, you can usually find everything you want. I got another picture frame from the 99 cent store, a very cute, simple gold frame. And using one of my picture books, I'm going to cut out one of my favorite images that I feel represents the Light Academia aesthetic and put it in the frame to display. I have been searching for a gold frame mirror for so long from my thrift store for the past six months, going multiple times a week, and I have not found one. So I went ahead and I purchased one from Amazon, and unfortunately, they sent me the wrong color. So just imagine that it's gold because it's supposed to be gold. It's a little smaller than what I was hoping for, so to kind of make it more accessible to use, I stacked it on top of some white books and I thought this looked beautiful. These are the items I purchased from Amazon because I was not able to thrift them, although I will still keep looking for the future. The only thing that's not from Amazon in this pile is the plant, which is from Walmart, and I think it was $3. Now all I'm doing is switching my books so you can see the pages. I also wanted to add a map to my space as well because I thought it would look beautiful, but the first one I put up I actually didn't like, so I ended up trading it out for a lighter colored map with some light turquoise and I, I really liked how this looked. Through the process of putting everything together, I noticed that within the Light Academia aesthetic, it does not look great having a messy organized look, which works so well within the DA aesthetic. So I had to clean everything up a little bit, make it more organized, and it definitely made the room look a thousand times better. A 
Okay, so the big reveal. You guys ready? I'm I'm so nervous. I hope you guys like it. Whew. Okay, let's go see it. To give my desk some texture, I added some placemats, some maps, some pieces of paper, flowers, and some dried weeds that I picked from my backyard. I just love the collection of all these random things. I think it gives it a lot of character and it makes it look a little more in use instead of being super clean and super organized. I traded out all the images on my wall to something much lighter. I included images that were from Greece, some beautiful castles, some beautiful architecture, some columns. I thought this resembled it so well. There's a lot of different options you could choose here, but this is just what I went with and I think it matched the overall color palette and made the room feel much lighter. You'll notice that all of my accent colors are in gold and everything else is just very light. Switching your books to just show the pages can make such a huge difference in a room and it's such an easy thing to do to really give the vibe of your room a lighter feel. And of course, because the secret history is the pinnacle of dark academia, I had to keep that one displayed because it's one of my favorite books of all time. I really hope that you guys liked watching this video and it gave you some inspiration because I feel that light academia is definitely an aesthetic that is underrated and should be enjoyed more. And I feel like the people that will enjoy it are people that already love dark academia. My favorite thing though about this whole room would have to be this wall. The fact that this sheet was only $4 and it just transforms the entire space. You can't, you can't beat that. 
And I love it especially because it's a cream color. So when the sun comes through this room, it reflects into the entire room. It feels cozy, it feels warmer, it feels welcoming, and it's great. The only downside about having a patterned wall is that it makes it feel very tiny. I wish my room was a little bigger, but you know, there's not much I can do about that. I would love to hear your feedback though. Let me know what you liked about this room. Let me know if you practice this aesthetic and what is your definition of this aesthetic? Does this, is what I created match what you imagine? I really wanna know because I just don't see this aesthetic enough. So I was really kind of making it up as I went along. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks so much for checking out this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.